20,000 student athletes throughout collegiate sports, all of which deal with the daily struggle of time management between school and athletics. Now in our series of Take This Job and Love It, I spend a day with a Darton College baseball player. While being a student athlete may not seem like a job to you, it's certainly a lot of work. It's not the ping of a bat or the pop of a glove. This is the first sound of the morning for Darton College baseball player Bryant Alonzo. Your first shot? But apparently you have to call it. The life of a student athlete. Looks easy, but this is only the start. Alonzo breaks open his day with a schedule full of classes, not all as easy as leisure sports. It's tough sometimes, but getting up at 8 o'clock to play pool and ping pong is not that hard. <laughs> For me anyway. Today, the second baseman will put pen to paper in classes two and three. Then he's off to the field house to prepare for a road game in Alabama. Often putting in 14 or 15 hour days, the sophomore says it's all still worth it. It's tough being a student athlete, but I mean, we wouldn't trade it for anything. We love what we do. Um, it has its ups and downs, but mainly, mainly more ups. While at the field house, Alonzo has a long list of essentials to pack before hitting the road. With two hours to kill on that bus, it's all hands on deck for distractions. Most everybody listens to music um, on their cell phones, you know, looking on Facebook, anything to make the time go by because everybody's anxious to get out there. Finally, the Cavaliers arrive a little behind schedule. Off the bus, Alonzo and his Darton teammates are all business scouting their opponents every move. Ready guys? Yes, sir. Sir. No letdowns. Let's bounce around. Let's show some energy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Looks like they're throwing a lefty that we saw in the fall, so Shit, he, he, was, he was pretty good. So it'll, it'll be a good competition today. Early in the game, Darton puts themselves in a hole. The Cavaliers fight back but leave too many men on the bags, giving the game away by the final score of two to three. We played pretty bad and still had a chance to win in the end. Um, we didn't get the big hit when we needed it, and that was, you know, that's the most frustrating part. It's a long bus ride back to Albany. Next, it's unpack and go straight to the books. But even a grind such as this can't keep the second baseman down. Being able to do what you love to do, whether whatever sport for anybody, and being able to get the same college experience, it all goes hand in hand, and we really enjoy what we do, or we wouldn't be doing it. Just all in a day's work for this student athlete. And those Cavaliers weren't successful Monday when I went out with them, but Darton does go one for two tonight, beating St. John's and losing to Northwest Florida State. But there is a change in plans for tomorrow's games. The Cavaliers were supposed to play, but due to those incoming storms moving in, Darton is done for their weekend.